Okay. We're all good, we're all good. Dwarven remnants. Let's go. Last time we'd not gotten a lot done, if I remember. A couple of raids and a nasty infection kind of slowed our progress down a bit. But I'd like to hopefully this time get a lot more done. Start building a proper hold. And maybe moving people into actual rooms. It's probably one of the first things we should do. Set up a proper place for our people. Let's move you up there. Oh, we have... Oh, yeah, we had the Skaven that tried to escape and got its leg cut off. That's fine. We can make mechanical legs, which is a research, and I need to remember research mod settings. If you're using uh, Research Pal here, whenever you start a new game, you need to hit Regenerate Research Tree Layout. Otherwise, it doesn't... None of this shows up. Don't know why it is. That's a thing that's been with the mod for... Ages. Oh, we had it. We had an infestation as well. That's right. That's going to probably be the main issue with our colony. Is infestations are going to be constant. Let's be honest. Because dwarf, dwarf hold. Our mortal enemy. Insects. Luckily, we like eating them, so we don't mind too much. So I don't sleep. Odd come here. Apparently, has another point of magic. Now this earthen hammer was kind of cool. Lomber got food poisoning from raw raspberries. Yes, altered craft. The geomancer was kind of fun. Just throwing... Oh, iron ore. I mean, I know that we hit iron ore. Yes, I told you to mine it. Weird. Heal efficiency. Now, any future skills, we should learn other things than heal. Shield. Protects him from damage for 50 seconds or until the shield is broken. Absorbs to 100 damage. Huh. Cool. That could actually be very helpful. Right, we have... We're trying to make friends with tieflings, right? That's why we're doing this monument. We had friends with... Trying to make friends with tieflings. Because why wouldn't we? They're tieflings. I love them. They are honestly one of my favorite fantasy races. Along with Drow. Drow and Tieflings. I've played a lot of Drow and Tieflings. I just like them. I just think they're neat. Dwarves too, obviously. I have an obsession with them, but... What are you doing? Just going for a walk, I see. Is oh lord okay. Let's just see how much we have over here alone. Five uh, twenty five hundred. We have a raid from Fleshmonger. Mongers from Fleshmonger arrive nearby. They're attacking immediately. These are yeah these are uh, daemonets right. This from the Slanesh, the Slaneshi mod. Mm, great cultists of demon. Technically, I don't, I don't know if Slanesh is technically a demon. I don't actually remember what they're uh, classified as. Either way, everyone, two arms. Just down here. We're going to hide behind our walls and shoot them, ideally. 
which seems cowardly, but it's how we survive. Plus, honestly, it won't always work, because some of these things have teleporting powers. Or things that can just suck us out from behind the walls and ruin any defenses we might have. I probably should have... Hey, oh god. Taz had their torso and pelvis shattered by friendly fire. Hmm. You got any last words? Say them now. That's a line. You know. Healed. Oh shit, that did a lot. That healed a lot. What are you doing? Another thing, I'm pretty sure they can shoot back through the embrasures, so that's another thing to be careful of. Embrasures aren't 100%. There's a chance when they shoot them, I think they can shoot through them. Okay, okay, okay. Heal yourself. Wow, that's such a good power. What are you? You are a entertainer. You're, well, you're dead is what you are. Hey, Dwarven Wine. Get her ass. Mm, she's not... I don't like... Incapable of dumb, dumb labor. Physically adept, mad surgeon, lush, vengeful, pyromaniac. That's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Mm. No, I think we'll just... Put them out of their misery. We could always capture... Yes, Demons of the Chaos God. Okay, so it's a, a, a god. Okay, okay. Slanish. Yes, these ones in particular, the ones with the, the, the claws, are proper demons. Hailing from the realm of Slanesh. Quick and agile fighters dance on the battlefield. Grace and speed make excellent fighters tend to have cruel streaks and lack in the handy department because they have big claws. Someone like this person, though, they were just a cultist. In one of, in uh, the test game I had here for one of for this mod pack, I actually had a daemonet. Wait, shit! It's not over yet. Hold on. Called it too soon. Yes, uh, just search and destroy. Take care of it. Oh my... <laughs> that was a point blank fire breath. From our dragon. Hmm. I suppose we could if we really felt like it. In the future, we can capture some of these people and just release them to get goodwill. What is that? It's not Herbo. Fleshmonger. Technically, we can become friends with them. It's just going to take a while because they're negative 100 with us. Oh, look, the under... I like that this little Skaven dude is wearing, like, Roman armor from the looks of it. The Under Empire. It's kind of cool. Skaven Warlords. It's kind of cool. Anyway, yes. We can make friends with them. I think we should haul just everything. Everything you can. That is everyone, right? Kot Kotsi? Koch Kochki? It's just running.
That went well, though. First, uh... First raid of the day. Probably won't be the last. Uh, we can also just improve, in general, their mana abilities with Clarity, Spirit, and Focus. I think we're going to save up and get... We're going to save up and get our Paladin here, another... Thing, hello? Ah, yes, because it's technically full of salted meat. Yep. I see, I see. Spoils in years. That's pretty good. Okay, let's make let's make another pot and we'll have it store the muffalo meat raw. So there's always somewhere to store it. So Almost there, almost there. Marriage is on. I forget which ones actually are in a relationship, I'll be honest. Uh, this can just have raw muffalo meat. Colin proposed to Miss Mill. The two are now engaged. Oh yeah, isn't he the one that f just used a cheesy pickup line on the deadly warrior and it won? Yeah, it worked. Brave, brave man. I guess I'll put the marriage spot out here just for now, but we're not we don't have really have any we're not in a really a, a position to have anything like that yet. Why are you moving so slowly? Oh lord. Became the target of a link a lynx. Uh Feel like you're probably fine. All right, Taz. Running gun, move inside. Is anyone else around? No, they're not. We should have probably. You think you can outrun a lynx? Oh, damn. Oh, I know. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's eating the corpse. I'd like to kill it, just because it's going to be a bit of an issue if we don't. Nah, whatever. You know, it can, it can live. It'll be a problem in the future. I'm... I would have regret that. Watch in half an hour someone get eaten alive and killed by that thing. Definitely gonna regret that, aren't I? Lumber. Who really works? You. You build. Yes. Once we build this little... Oh, Lord. This is... Oh, it's just one. Never mind. I was very worried there for a second that... Just keep moving. Just keep moving. You got this. You're fine. Took her a few shots, but she got there in the end. Still have this. We don't have anything to do yet with crystals, though, do we? Uh, yes, as I was saying, once we finish this little monument thing... We'll go. Th we'll start making these hallways and rooms and stuff, and yeah, make something of that. Also, we have new more pigs. We have so many pigs. We should really get rid of a couple.
You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna butcher four of them. And then more adult ones. They might not be fully grown, but also... They're kind of... Kind of getting out of hand. Lovely music. Just nice background. So after you do that, build this. So we can do the same thing we have here with salted and non, but we can try to merge them. Kind of, it works weird. These pots kind of work weird. They might not be the best. I'm sure there's something that works a little bit better here. Meat hooks are fun. I just think they look cool. You can store corpses in them. Three. You remember to add that. Be a nice great hall area. Once that is there only one left. There's one spot left. You got this, let's go. Monument completed. Yep, we got the we got the goodwill. Hell yeah. It's not much, but it's something. It's a little, a little bit of something. Allow. Let's actually let's let's allow all of this. They can get to it when they feel like. Expires. They inspire when they're installed, I wonder. Close under its own light for a time, then dies, I see. It's kind of pretty, though. I can see a much more... Ooh, cave goblin people. that They worship darkness and insects. I can see something like that being a, a thing. That could be fun. They live off of insects and mushrooms. Really? Another one already? Huh. Nord's people from Banked Clan have arrived nearby, approaching from multiple angles. To attack immediately, unusually clever tactics. They're not sappers, though, I think. So. Alright then, everyone. Back to it. No rest for the wicked. These raids are definitely going to slow our progress down, I think. Lumber. Here. Yes. Come here. Did you say mommy can't save you now? What the hell? Please do not do that. Oh, running gun's gonna get us killed. 100%. Luckily, we have a paladin on, on standby. You'll be good. You're gonna bleed out in two anyway, so. Very neurotic talents armor. You are. You're missing a lot. You're missing your right shoulder, your left arm, your kidney. Hmm. 
magically gifted. Duck and weave. A dragon just chill. Are you really going to attack the dragon? Why would you do that? <laughs> Very soon, this will be a less uh, effective defensive system here because right now it works well it's not going to forever though we need to be careful because we could easily lose somebody i've had that because it just takes one mage you know well-placed fireball it's an assassin person teleporting behind and just cutting all the archer's arms off all that fun stuff we've gotten very lucky that we've not come across too many nasty mages yet and we're we're gonna take all of the uh, all the wanderer join events because that's those are dwarves and they come from I don't know maybe they come from the other clan and they want to join our grand hold I wanted to always take them, regardless of if they're good or not. If they're really god off, we could banish them, I guess, but probably really just going to accept them all. However, we can be picky with who we capture and take in. Currently, we have just taken in Wilder, and eventually a Skaven. We technically saved her from slavery, but we had to imprison her to do so. Yeah, it's a bit. Uh, yes. Uh, oh. You know what? Storing our medicine in that's not a bad idea, but not right now. Because when it's stored in that, it spoils in about a decade. <laughs> that's good to know. You know, I might make I might make another pot just for that then. Oh, you're tending to tasks. Oh, yeah, you are a doctor, aren't you? Of course you are. It's one of the few things you're good at. Killing and healing, oddly enough. You're, you're not even the paladin, either. You're, you're just a warrior. Nazwin here is the, the paladin. Which that heal... We have buffed that heal to hell, though, so probably going to save us unless he himself gets knocked out in which case spit uh, i was worried there for a second storage clear all herbal medicine we'll put that as the highest anyone who's nearby please get rid of that put it somewhere else I don't actually have anywhere to store the hops. We're going to have to really... Yeah, we need to... Just very messy storage for now. It'll be better eventually, don't worry. We're still early days. It, it takes a while for... You know, good things to come. Eventually. Hmm. Another mad muffalo. It is going for us. Who's around that could take care of it? Colin. Miss Mill. Let's have Mizzle. Let's let him do his thing still. Three archers. They can take it, right? They can deal with a buffalo. Well. 
Maybe not. Mufflows are a lot, but they should be fine. Good hit, good hit. Hit in the ear. Another in the ear. Why are they going for the ear specifically? Run. Oh, yeah. Thank God for running gun. Important thing to remember, though. Enemies can run and gun us, and it can get very bad. Because they can flee and still shoot at us. Maybe we'll have a period of peace now to build. Probably not, though. From what I've seen, Maynard here can be a bit... A bit of a dick. <laughs> Very temperamental storyteller. Tattered apparel. What is tattered? I can't... Oh. Dwarven tunic. Can I make those? yet? Yeah. I think I can, right? Dwarf, yes. Oops. So, Dwarven tunic, I want to do... Let's just do one for now, actually. Watch, I don't even think she can... Actually, as long as we keep her forced, she shouldn't, so. Expert colonist. No, expert colonist. Minus. Oops, not that. Minus one, so they'll aim for seven. Details don't make it out of mana weave sin thread, even though I don't think we can get the sin thread. Don't make it out of scales. There. Do that whenever. And we should have people do that. Should manage outfits. Start off by deleting all the other ones. For right now, to solve that, uh, yeah, just everyone disallow any shirts that aren't dwarven tunics because you're dwarves and that's also what you want to wear. So they should, in theory, be actually. You know what, in case, whatever. They'll be fine. They can deal with it. Don't worry if it's below... If it's 50 or lower. There you go. I don't know if that means that Nazwin's going to take his shirt off, but... <laughs> Hopefully he'll wait until there's something better to wear. Oh, wait, shit. Uh, unequipped. Please, yes. She already make one. Is that why there's that? You can you can finish that. Make another one. So somebody should. Come and wear that, or hopefully he will at some point. Yeah, I mean, we should. How this? No. Wear the shirt. Wear the shirt. Fine. Now no more tattered apparel. I don't know why he didn't... Sh uh, what are you doing? Okay, no. Taking it to your inventory. Good. I thought he was putting on the bad shirt. I was a little concerned. 
that it was not working. Nice and relaxing, eh? When, when there's not constant raids and attacks, it's very relaxing. Yeah, we're going to just fully encase this area. Mountain, overhead mountain. There is some constructed roof. This, this should also be indoors, though. Yes. It's getting kind of hot, though. I wonder if it's because of all the fire. Probably because of all the fires. Also, I think... I don't know. Do these dragons put off heat, I wonder? I think some of them do. I think some of the dragons heat up the area around them. Which is kind of fun, actually. And gone. Do we have the ability? Alloy smelter. Fueled smelter. We have a lot of different like smelters and smithies and stuff. There's like five different smelters. Let's just put this outside then. Actually, that's dead. And we'll see if that will let us get rid of some of this awful uh, weapons we found. Because we don't... Some of this isn't even worth... Uh, isn't even worth keeping or selling. It's just bad. Quagga. And all the quagga. Breeding them, releasing them to the wild. Helping the extinct species. Gotta love it. Negative, this negative 74. They're slowly, slowly getting there. These, oh, God, Devil's Potions. Uh, this is from one of the mods. Medieval Quest Rewards reworks some of the more spacey stuff. Devil's Potion is Luciferium. Dangerous and Cursed Brew. The Devil's Curse begins to take over after five or six days without regular doses. That is almost too dangerous to keep around. I'll be honest. But, it can be potentially... Ooh. You know, here's what I'll do. It's going to be sealed away in this room, and we can crack open, you know, some of the, some of the walls whenever we need need it. Or should we even do that? It should be fine. I do kind of want it put out of the normal stockpile, though. It's kind of worrying, that one. Hopefully our animals don't eat it. Because animals sometimes take drugs. I hope none of our animals get Luciferium. Although a Luciferium infused dragon is a terrifying thought, isn't it? Now, people shouldn't be eating insect jelly anymore, because it's been giving them food poisoning. But we are able to sell it whenever we need. 
of a cash. Whenever someone buys it, though, that is the thing. We have to find someone who's willing to buy insect jelly. Goose. We have goose. How you doing over here, rat man or rat girl? Oh, yeah, shit. We should get a water tub. Because if we keep that refueled, it allows her to wash herself instead of someone having to go wash her. Other than that, though, you're actually almost converted. Will, 2.5. Then you have 12 resistance. Talent, copycat, magical gifted, psychopath, insatiable, dunce. Your good doctor, constructor, shooter. That's right. That's why we bought you, because you were very good. You're pretty good. Yeah, it kind of looks like real stone, so on a, a larger scale, like view, it will kind of just look like the mountain. It's not perfect, but it's the best we can do. Ooh, another one. Just have, like, a nice little array of them around the pod. Don't tell... I think we wanted sandstone for the floor. But we probably won't work on the floor yet. Taz tried to convert Tom into her ideologian. You what? Oh, that's right, you're not. Ugh, oh, that's right, you're the psychic vegans, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Let's have a little uh, conversion ritual. Speaker, convertee, 49%. You know what? Let's give it a try. They're just laying her on the ground and... I think I can... I think you can replace the music for this. I wonder if I should do it for anything more fitting. Uh, ineffective. Oh. Oh, if I, oh, it went up, if anything. Shit. Okay. Go convert Taz. Use your power. And we'll just keep using that whenever we can. Until eventually she's converted. And now the rat's trying to convert us too. Okay, uh, fuel. We can make charcoal. I can make charcoal out of wood. That's good. I can make bronze. We have plenty of wood. But that's not the one that lets us do that. It's maybe a fueled smelter, which will also make out of granite. So maybe we shouldn't. What block do we have the most of? 82 granite on the map here. Ooh, let's make it out of limestone then. Quarry preserving barrel. That's from Apothecary. This of course a big this is the Lord of the Rims anvil and forge. Like I said, there's a lot of different uh smithies and all that, yeah. Let's build both of them. Maybe one of them will be what we want. Ooh. Suppose in 25 days, these 
barrel. These uh things, these pots are pretty good. We have herbal medicine that won't expire for a decade. I don't even I don't even know if the colony will last that long. Let's be honest. It'll be a miracle if we last ten years. And we, they should, once they do this, I might, yeah, let's put this actually as well. They should, in theory, once they build this, build one at a time and not work themselves into a corner. Because I have a mod that makes them smarter, but I don't, I don't trust it. I don't trust the intelligence of, like, pawns in these types of games. Ever since No Mori, I don't trust them. Because those gnomes... God, they're dumb. They love building themselves into corners, don't they? That'd be a fun one to play at some point. I miss Nomoria. Oh no, we have to go down to... There's certainty. Oh, yeah, it's going to go be a while. <laughs> yeah, you know, as, you know as well as I do. I'm sure we've both had plenty of experience with... Yeah, those damn little gnomes. It's like they want to die. I don't know what it is. I've been lucky enough to avoid too many deaths in that game from that kind of thing, though. I've usually caught it quickly enough. There have been a couple instances, though. Does it show if we have the weapon? No. How about... Any melee weapon... Let's, let's smelt away. Do, do forever. Details clear all. Any melee weapon that is awful or poor. Just right off the bat. Uh, except for like, uh, except for that, let's go in like not the dwarf stuff and the really cool stuff. I don't even think we're going to get a, a mono sword, but... Zeus Hammer. Yeah, just none of the dwarf stuff, because that stuff could be useful. We want to paste the settings, except uh, anything that's normal, but also below, let's say, 51 hit points. Except I didn't want to save that, though, for some reason. I like whatever the song is. It's funky. Boombox. That's apparently what it's called. Actually, let's, uh, let's do the ranged weapons, too. We are not getting any of these because... Most of these guns we're not getting. Let's be honest. Pila. We'll keep the very, very powerful, like elf bows and any guns that we get, just because I think they're neat. They're ye old guns. Warp Rattling Gun. Yeah, let's... Let's not spoil ourselves for that. That's a thing that can happen. We can't... I believe if we... I don't know if we need to be a Skaven faction or if we have a Skaven in the, the colony, but we can get, like, warp stuff, and it... There's some crazy stuff in there. 
they're very scary to fight, the Skaven. Which means, from what I know of the Skaven, it is fitting, because, yeah, nasty little things, aren't they? Rattling gun. Resonance rifle. Uh, short bow. Chemical mortar, that's one as well. It it does toxic uh, build-up damage, which is nasty. Triple handgun is a pretty fun one too. That's not that's not from the uh Skaven, that's just a, a thing. That's just from Black Armory. So, someone who can craft. I'll see what we can have, what they're going to refuel, what they're going to do. You're going to grab, okay, yeah. Club. This iron ball club, which kind of looks like Sokka's little boomerang thing, doesn't it? Little hand, hand club. Oh, she had a club and a boomerang, didn't he? Yeah. That's kind of cool, though. Also looks like, uh, was it the Irish one? The Hurley, or whatever it's called? Now let's put it to the test. Except for there. Yep, actually, no, we don't want... We want smooth, not ornate. Still smelting away? Okay. Okay, good. Cool. Iron knife. A little bit of that iron. Okay, we have there's like three different irons, by the way, so that's fun. So it's a it gets to be a lot. Snap was not meant to happen. Ah, yeah, you can do that. Taz, why so sad? Oh, because oh yeah, because you are psychic vegan and you're wearing. Leather clothing, and we slaughtered animals. That would do it. Are they actually... I think they are. I think they're actually doing what they're supposed to. It's a miracle. Wow. Who'd have thought? I still don't know how much I trust it, but... They've apparently figured it out. Lost some simple meals, which is unfortunate. We we're actually doing well for food. I don't have to worry that much because it seems with our climate, the winters aren't that bad, which is interesting. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, Tess, I guess, if that's not too informal. Welcome. It's good to see ya. Hello. Mm, losing my voice a bit, sorry. There. <laughs> Not a lot of progress has been made. We've had to deal with a couple raids and manhunters, but overall we've survived. We've got a th since you've been here, I think the main thing is we got the wall down there built up and starting to plan out actual sort of tunnels here. Okay, we no weapons left to smelt, that's good. Yes, 
we have two dragons. We picked up another one. This is the female, and we have somewhere around here. Uh, the... Oh, there he is. Lester, the... He's actually not an adolescent anymore. He is male. He's just male. No longer teenager. Kind of does look like a D&D &D figure. I, I would use it. It looks like it's a good one. They kind of look almost... With their little head... The way their head looks, it almost they almost look a little insectoid. Which... Insect dragons. Creepy. Fun. Okay, our halls here are built. Yes, we should. Uh, I've been informed that they explode, though, the dragon eggs. If So, we need to remember that. Be careful. A uh, rumble whore. Are these called are these rumble horns? Yes. So uh, for all adult rumble horns are some of the most vibrant creatures in the jungle. They're often confused with rocks or clouds of dirt at a dick glance. Round sepia shells, delivery pattern with lines, blended with dead brush and traveled logs. Dragon training tribes of the jungles to collect the broken fragments from hatched eggs, using both camouflage and fireproof the outside of their dwellings. Heal the wounds of Rumblehorn hatchings for their first few months of life. Thanks for sharing the protection of their shells. Oh, let me go over there. Uh, yep. No, Rumblehorn. Might have missed the end, though. It, it probably, it probably happened, to be honest. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if I accidentally said, uh, yeah. Yeah, Rumble Horn. They're cool, though. I like them. These are cool dragons. Uh, unusually high number of jungle tribesmen who ride bonded Rumble Horns. Of these these tribes, people are notoriously prone to avoiding doors in their homes. Said favoring dwellings that you enter via a hole and ladder in the ceiling. Even bonded rumble horns will destroy doors in a fit of frustration or intense game of hide and seek. And as design mimics practicality, so the ceiling entries of the jungle tribes came to be. That's funny. I like that. Okay, let's just have a super important. If there's an egg, put it there. I don't. I will have to see how we can incubate them. How it? What are you carrying? I think he's trying to haul stuff. Also, we have a blight. Oh. Someone should get to that pretty quickly, right? It's it's all designated auto cut. Yes. That's a fun mod. Auto cut blighted plants. Very handy. the button after harvest like this the select similar button so hello hello remy welcome 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 how you doing hello when made into cloth cotton yes We need to lay out things for these people to do. I mean, we definitely need a storage room. Yeah, I think. Well, we need a lot of things. Also very tired, ready for tomorrow? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It could be great. 
It's been so long since I've gone to any kind of con things. Oh, uh, when it's raw, it's like this cotton fiber, little little baskets of that, and then we convert it into this, into rolls of cloth. So there's a step to refine it between, but yeah, there's, it ends up like that. Hmm. That should be probably good. All prepared for, for the con. Yeah, it's been, it's been so long since I've gone to anything like that, to be honest. I should do it at some point. I, I miss it. I want to make sure we put a brazier in the middle of all this. Some kind of brazier. This one looks nice. So... How about mosaic and ornate? This should keep them busy for a while. For now, flagstone, and we'll change it up as we need to go. Okay, that'll be good. That'll keep him busy for a while. break and we're all good so we can make weapons i don't really think we need anything yet marble labyrinth chanted marble labyrinth oh it's like a it's a, like a toy oh we can sell these Hufflang broadsword old scottish sword equates to a long sword boomerang arrival we can make a lot of weapons i'd like to make a lot of weapons in the future Pelte, Falx, Javelin, a flail. I do like a good flail. Make dwarf walking axe and dwarf spears. Already those could be useful. We have a lot of ranged people, though. Not a lot of melee people. Which, to be honest, ranged is just the way to survive, so... How you doing, rat? Still, still gonna take a while. It's gonna be a long time until we get the Skaven on our, our side. Yuta, poor Yuta. Yuta's been pretty scarred up. The, the Mega Scarab got her in the eye, or him in the eye. Last time. In terms of health, though, I think everyone's pretty much good. Just got a scar on the neck. Yeah, that's about it. That's the only lasting damage so far has been is a neck scar. I'm not too bad. Thank you. General, kind of neutral. It's a nice overcast day. Nice natural light. And yeah, just kind of vibing. Can't complain. Well, I could complain, but I won't. Overall, not bad.
Sorry, I think my cat's acting up outside the door again. Yeah, not 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 bad overall. Certainly been worse. Glad to be playing both of these games again. We succeeded. We did very well, by the way, in um They Are Billions. The zombie game. We actually won with relative ease. Ish. So that's fun. I might leave that like that for now. I don't know yet. Yeah, unlike last time. <laughs> yeah. Much more success. Last time was a bit rough, wasn't it? The last time we've tried that map. The Giants. We unlocked a couple other missions too, which is fun. There's apparently an island with experimental things called the Phoenix Project, which, uh... Yeah, that sounds like a fun one. A mod for cotton fiber to the... I think that's base game now. It used to be a mod. I think it's base game now, though. Yeah, I think that's core. Yeah, it's not part of a mod. I think I used to have extended fabrics, but... Uh, I don't... I don't. Yeah, I think that's part of it now. I also had extended wood cutting at one point, but it's a bit buggy. It's actually very buggy. That was fun. You had to make a trestle to chop lumber from a chopped tree into green wood, which then you had to dry on a wood rack to get wood. It was a whole thing. It was a lot of fun, that one, but it, it's a very buggy mod, so I opted against it. I had to curate a lot of mods out of this, to be honest. I don't know if you can hear that bird. It is loud outside the window. Just sitting there. Yelling. Little bastard. I don't actually know if you can... It seems to be picking up. I don't actually know if you can hear a bird. It's chirping away, though. Oh yeah, it it definitely was a bit iffy, the, the wood mod, when you need to build, you know, grand uh, structures. You know, I'm trying to make a bunch of houses. Definitely took a while, but I, I like the extra level of immersion. <laughs> I was wondering about that. Just, I love it. I've done that so many times, don't worry. So we fully upgraded heal. Ray of hope. Aura of hope around the caster. Buffs an ally. Hmm. Ray of hope. And just toggle it on. He's a permanent ray of sunshine. And so if there's anyone near him, when it activates, it should make them happy. Frequency 80 to 90 seconds, duration, manipulation, moving, and mood increase. Hell yeah. Just an aura of niceness. He's a paladin, but he's very much just... He doesn't... I mean, he has combat, obviously. He he uses a sword and armor, but... Yeah, he's not... Not as brutal. Because, yeah, it's, it seems like these paladin is very... Actually, that being said, they have Holy Wrath and Valiant Charge. So... 
Holy powers unleashed from the paladin overwhelm the physical and mental senses of any nearby creatures. We're going to make them just a beacon of light and death. If they survive that long. If they survive that long. Before Origin. I kind of like it. I kind of like this song. It's called Before Origin. I don't know where it's from, but it's copyright free, so that's all that really matters. Okay, Taz. Currently you're scavenging. Okay. So you don't have a lot to do. I think. I think we should keep digging up a bit. So I don't know yet how far we're going to go with this. We're probably going to have maybe around here. I want to figure out how big I want this. So I'm thinking this can be a great hall slash dining room slash common area type of deal. And this is a door into what will eventually be a sort of enclosed garden area. We're going to have a, a hobbit party tree right in the middle. The party tree. But then we're going to have a split. Probably could do a bathroom here. And maybe just a few rows of rooms up here. Keeps going crafting in here. I don't know yet. I don't know what we're doing exactly. I'm just going to dig and hope that this isn't a, a revealed area. If an area reveals up here, I'm going to be very irritated. If it turns out that none of this is mountain, I will not be happy. Finished plumbing. So we can make basins and sinks and stuff now. When do we get there? You can't. Where's Taz? Where'd Taz go off to? Convert. Okay, that's slowly we're gonna get her converted. I mean, she's going to like it much better, because then she's not going to... Yeah. She's not gonna be unhappy, because she hates it here right now. More and more and more, just a huge. This thing makes a lot, actually. Insect jelly, good to sell. I guess if worse comes to worse, we can just eat it if we have to. It does give nutrition, and it can be used for meals. So if we have to, we can just shovel it in our mouths if we're starving. Delicious jelly from an insect. It honestly sounds foul. Going to mine out that because at the very least this is going to be open. Or we have a quarry, quarry, quarry. Be like a wall separating them at because this is probably as low as this room's going to go. This is the ex extent of it because this is the map edge. What did that take you so long? Was there an ore there or something? Weird. Coarse rock salt. Oh yeah, because you can pick that up now and then too. I would love to actually figure out how the apothecary mod works. We need to research stuff for it though. Oh lord. Oh, conquest. It sounded like it was bad. Hit Hatsubron Kingdom has lost that to the Troba people. Don't remember who those are. I think it's a medieval loss to a tribe, I think. It's actually rather close, though. 
Oh, and yeah, it doesn't matter. I think this is a, an, a, a hostile medieval faction. That's a hostile tribal. Right here are the Slaneshi people, the cultists. They're right on the edge of the road. Barak Doom. Now, at some point, if we want, we can take a caravan over to the Malorn Forest and collect some trees. Malorn wood is very nice looking. It's very dark. One day we'll get... Uh, one day we'll get lights. We have the ability to get... Mithril fueled lanterns which are essentially they use components and they never run out but they're they're pricey because they use component components and we have no way to make them we can only find them slanesh icon use it to spr uh, honor oh, spread a corpse on it to honor slanesh hmm that's a mod to play around with at some point Make hedonistic cultists. That could be interesting. There's a lot of potential for things in this. So, I think... Yeah. Flirting frenzy. Aren't you engaged? Better be careful. Your wife can kill you with one hand. She's the best warrior we have. In fact, it's pretty much her only job. Handgun. A Tenegashima musket. Crossbow. We have an Archibus. Dark wood ball club. Shouldn't you have gotten destroyed? Club. Yeah, you should be get destroyed at some point. I mean, it's true. We brought her along as a fifth because none of the other ones were amazing at it. I mean, some of them, they're decent, but these skills were a bit lower back when we started. But her, she's our protection, the bodyguard to these four. Because you have like, you know, a cook, a blacksmith, a, a miner, a forager, and a soldier. She knows what she's good at. Something's happening? Okay. Pristine Ruins. We should head to that at some point, even though I'm pretty sure that Pristine Ruins is kind of buggy. I'll have to check. Oh yeah, it has been rather quiet, actually, hasn't it? Raid, raid. We had some raids back to back. To be, be careful though. Our wealth is at ninety one thousand. Hmm. That's going to be a problem. That is the thing. Building like we do with these grand holds and stuff is definitely going to make our wealth skyrocket. Just going to be a bit of an issue. They're done mining. More pigs. Uh, yeah, we'll just... Yeah, Sow 1 is the only one really we're keeping. We have finished heating. We can build log boilers, yes. When we get an actual, like, bathroom, you know, washing area, that's going to be uh, helpful. That's a walls. So in terms of what does a quarry look like for size?
Ah, uh, yes. Now, honestly, I might... Might not be the most efficient. I don't want to look good. There's also other types of quarries we can do. Like, smaller ones, so... Something like, say... That. Two. Wall. Yes. This is of granite, so structure smooth granite. That should work. Ish. I have a vision. We put the smaller quarries like right over here. Can we actually make those yet? I don't think we can. We go under medieval. No, no, we can't. Oh, people aren't harvesting. What if someone's. Where's this coming from? Where is that where is that coming from actually? I don't know. A little confused, a little concerned. Uh clear all pork. Now it's salted pork. Spoils in 30 days. Oh yeah. I still have love love how long. I don't know if salting the medicines. I don't know if that would hurt the efficiency of it or something, but you know it works. If it works, it works. I'm going to need to make sure make pillars or columns. I kinda like ruined columns. Of granite. Just at the corners. I think that should work. If it doesn't, we can just move them around, but... I mean, it looks like it would work. Yes, this is the extent... It's going to have a wall back there of, honestly, yeah, the same ornate limestone wall. Even if the background's granite. Just keep with the theme. And because not all of it is below ground... Some of it has to be roofed manually. Oh god, don't know what happened there. Then we're going to probably mirror that down here, so we have two quarries. We can have some room for some platforms. Maybe the, the platforms don't actually really work with the storages that we use, the deep storage. It kind of fucks with it. A place of our own. Very uplifting, isn't it? Epic uplifting music. We have. We've struck iron ore, have we? Also, there's an earthquake. 
Okay, good. Luckily, we haven't built any roofs over there yet, or buildings. A minor tremor would just take it out. Uh, I'll let them mine and build for one second. Be right back. What is this? This is a uh, sandstone flagstone. Although I believe I have a mod that retextures them to be a little more medieval castle themed. But this is the floor itself is just from base game. But I do think I have a retextured thing. I can check. I did actually make a... I did compile the mod list. I think. It should be, it should work. So it's probably somewhere there. You've never done floors. I mean, you... Floors are a good idea because they also keep rooms from getting dirty and people from getting food poisoning and all that. Plus, I like them. I think they look nice. Sandstone is pretty. My favorite is uh, a mixture of either granite and slate or slate and marble. Slate and marble is nice black and white. It's very, very nice looking. But for this, we have three. We have granite mostly for exterior defenses and like supports, like columns. We have limestone for walls. And sandstone for floors. Mostly. There's not going to be a lot of wood. There'll be wood floors and bedrooms, though, I think. And the great hall, maybe. The drinking hall. Oh, Lord. That was sudden. Jupero. Uh, maybe, maybe... Oh, they're going to dig themselves into this, aren't they? She's sad wandering. Okay. I'm going to make sure that there is a path out of here for these people. Because they have almost built themselves into... This. I'd like to make sure that doesn't happen. There you go. Something keeps exploding. The screen keeps shaking. And I'm a little concerned about what's going on. Like, is an animal dumb enough to attack those boom rats, the boom lobes down there? Or boom bats, I should say. Ooh. See, like, what the fuck was that? Explosions. Screen shake. I'm a little concerned. Also, we have, I think one of the mods lets people with high social try to calm people down from their sad wandering and, you know, mental states. Didn't work this time, as it said, but there's that as an option.
Wow, these things need a lot of work, don't they? A lot of work on these comms. This is technically outdoors, but I think it's all roofed. Worms are rotted. I think one of the mods lets uh, people with high social talk people down from their mental states, their mental breaks. I think. I don't think that's base game, so I think it's a mod. They can attempt to snap them out of it. Because sometimes you just really, really need them to be here instead of this it is pretty handy and one of the test games i had a bard from the rim world of magic and naturally they were just amazing at social always always managed to uh, talk people down very helpful i wonder if we could get a bard this time around I guess it's the luck of the draw. Converting down to 43%. Okay. This little rock prison. I know, right? Hiding in room. Although, I guess if... I don't actually know. Does it, is it worded hiding in room or hiding in their room? Because technically, they can just hide in a random room. them go we have to just remember this iron hidden back here but we're going to be making i will do that just so we don't forget just like this just like the lead oh this no uh convert this is ideologian lumber here is our speaker to the gods he's our high priest he has the ability to convert Reassure, which uh, increases the certainty of the people in their certain things. Counsel. Cancel the effect of a sad memory. And Preach Health, which improves their wound healing immunity gain. Very helpful. Oh god. Roofs are collapsing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm just going to mirror it like that. It's a little annoying. Core, this the quarries from this mod are just big enough that roofs don't quite work. So you need all the pillars, but I wanted them at the corners because it looks better. They're gathering to celebrate the marriage. Everyone, wake up. Fuck the prisoner. There's a marriage to attend to. I mean, it, it's not really meant for underground use, to be honest. I'm just making it underground because we're dwarves. It's, it's meant for large open areas like this. And like this. A couple is... Colin, who was uh, a traitor, he's the one that um, woke up in the middle of the night and tried to subdue and you know, traitorize, and the people beat the shit out of him and dragged him to prison. He managed to bag our warrior woman here. It's, this isn't the best marriage area. I don't know why they're in the hallway, but... Oh god, why does it do that? They are beginning the marriage ceremony. We are gathered here today. Uh, ma'am, it's it's your marriage. Get inside.
Damn. She sees something in him, so you know what? Good for them. The dragon. We can't have a wedding without the dragon. That Lester. Yeah, auto mod. It's the I will kill you part, which is very fair. In this circumstance, it was fine. Because it was talking about one of these. Having the little vows. Everyone's here, right? Yes. It's not the best marriage. It's a little sad, you know. It's, there's not a lot going on. But they're now married. That means that we can, we need to... We need to get them to bed. They need a double bed. Production... Nope, not production. Classic furniture. Fancy double bed. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't cross her. She's not the type of a... Uh, X you want, I bet. They're fine with it. We don't have uh, other room yet, so. For now, it's all one big commune. They're fine with it. Don't deal with it. We'll work on rooms once this quarry area is finished. I'm also probably going to end up using this as a temporary storage room as well, I'll be honest. It's part of why I'm doing this is also it's going to just be a big storage room. We're going to start working on a great hall and bedrooms and such. Yeah. It's Rim World. They gotta deal with worse, worse things. <clears throat> They'll be fine. <laughs> granite, lots of granite. We we need this because we don't. There's 111 compared to the three, four hundred of both other types. It's not a lot, so. Especially limestone. There's a lot of limestone. It's not as much as there was last time. Hmm. We're going through a lot of stone, I guess. That's fine. Mining will bring about so many stone. Nazarene's damaged the chair because they're big boned. Hmm? Oh, I don't know. Chunks. Yeah. Yeah, the chunks. The granite we use for, like, defenses and support and stuff, I think, was what was decided by me in my head. Like these. The reinforced dwarven walls. Hedgehog. Oh, there's a little bastard. It's a friend. Another friend. And another. And another. Ooh. There's so many animals. We need to collect just a menagerie. Hey, wasn't there a quest we missed during the wedding? The revered Delver's Call. Oh, this is for our relic. Which is a very fancy noble sword. Made of Arcalia. Which is a metal alloy of magicite, steel, jade, and silver. Increased elasticity, reverberations of a magical energy transfer through it. So, magical sword. It's one of our relics. I think we also have an adamantine 
helm, a uh, crown, and a mithril walking axe. A dwarven walking axe is just the the tall axe that like Gimli uses, for instance. It's like a walking stick and a, a battle axe, which is just a very cool design. I like it a lot. So, yes, I will copy settings. We need to first make a door. Make sure that this isn't counted as outdoors, because technically it's counted as outdoors right now. You don't want that. Taz has collapsed. Well, you know, you went on a mental break. Then you collapsed. Now wake up and clean yourself up. Tend to yourself. Get those out there. I mean, if you're that tired, go just go to bed. Go to bed early. You're no use to me if you're gonna fall down. Uh, Exhaustion again. We could build the quarry as well. We have more than enough iron. I mean, we have 2,800 of it. Marriage is on. That's the other couple. Tomli, who's our cook, and Nazwin, who's our paladin swordsman. Also, intellectual, melee, and yeah, cooking, artistic, medical. Just kind of good general colonist. She is. Oh yeah, is, this was the one that started. He uh, was joking to her about how good he was with his hands, and she was intrigued and agreed to become his lover. Which, I mean, you know what? Points for boldness, I guess. Works, it works. I can barely see it. Not a lot of light. We'll get to that at some point, too. In fact, uh, do we actually even have the light we would use anyway? Warp lighting, elven lighting, dwarven lighting. We don't have dwarven lighting yet. Should probably cue that up just for whatever. Magical lighting could be handy. Carpet smithing, dryad creation, smithing. Medieval tech. Yeah, we got it. We're good. Be under medieval that would be under classic furniture there it is wall lamp and gloomy furniture these are very nice little lamps these are fancy little street lamps too so we're now able to build the roof Maybe. I mean, it shouldn't be f too far away now. This should... These should all cover... Yeah, I mean, this, this covers that. And the important part is that these two cover this, so like... Two, uh, two, two pillars on either side should be... Yes, there we go. Perfect. Travelers, some hobbits. Some hobbits are passing by. They're all bundled up. Hemp broad wrap. This motherfucker's name is Smeagol. Don't trust him. Do not trust him. 
chemical interest. He's a, a hobbit drunk. Hmm. Don't. Yep. Don't trust that little fucker. This is now indoors, so I will again copy settings. Just make a very large uh, stockpile zone. And paste. And then we're going to slowly start moving this stuff out. We'll work on floors as well at some point. For now, I just want the room built. Yes. Orders. Get all that to a stockpile, please. Very quickly. As quick as you can. It's also... Oh, it's where all our food is. Maybe I should have a stock... Yes. No, that's true. Uh, no foods. We will keep a stockpile for the foods. For now, I'm just going to put it here because... Um, yeah. I guess technically the hops and the beans don't count. Probably end up making like this the food down here. I just want to clear this area out. This up here I need to clear. But for now. Might as well just hold it open. These little, little hobbity bastards going through our entire I guess because it's quicker to just go through it than around it. They're they they riding an Ibex. Huh. Cool. We should also include then things like ops, coffee, and garden coffee. You know, include drugs. Yeah, just drugs. Disease flu, Colin, a rat, and Taz all got the flu. Okay, well, off to bed with you. As one I think is our best, one of our best. Ms. Mills actually quite good too, isn't she? Thankfully, dwarves have a very strong bonus to their blood filtration, which I think helps with diseases. Hope. We just need to keep an eye on that. If it gets any if it gets much worse, we might need to intervene and force them in bed. Now the rat, the rat might be out of luck. I mean, they don't have the same bonus as we have, but maybe they'll be fine. and all that's right uh let's just focus on getting it in there first how about that we finished crude limbs so we can make at least a basic prosthesis for our rat whenever she gets uh you know recruited the 
Devil's Potion. It's a nice little bottle, though. I like the little symbol on it. Must be very careful with it. Don't want anyone to take that by accident. Okay, so I think it was under Medieval was this brazier. Heat output, wood consumption, beauty... There are, like, three different kinds of braziers, to be honest. Brazier. Large coal brazier. Furniture. It is a very cool potion, isn't it? And actually, it is uh, Medieval Quest Rewards. Medieval Quest Rewards reskins all the more future-y things. This is actually Luciferium. But it's been converted by that mod into something a little more setting-friendly. Because Luciferium is nanites and, you know... You know, it's micro... It's nanites. That's what Luciferium is. But this makes it into something a little more magical. It does the same to... I think stuff like, you know, Psychic Insanity Lances and uh, Soothe... Pulsars. They're they're like Arcotech stuff. They're they're fancy uh, rewards from quests and stuff. There's a mad hedgehog. Was this one I was looking at earlier? He's sleeping, but he's so fucking mad. Which... which name? So how are they doing? They're doing very well. Yeah, dwarves. Blood filtration. Very good. We got a book goods trader from the Shire. Welcome, hobbits. Nasty little hobbitses. Nasty little hobbitses. Oh, I see. Luciferium. I didn't know that that was a name that was in the thing. I guess it makes sense. Someone would be named it. It's kind of fun. I think Lumber is our best, so... So let's wait till they're inside the walls. We can at least sell them a little bit of... You know, bits. Sell them some peaks. You know, I might sell them off these random little pigs because I don't. We have enough. We can. We don't need meat. We really don't need meat. It's coming into spring and summer. We're fine. Sell for a potato. Sell off the insect jelly because that's what we're saving it for. Buy your components because we need that for mithril. Actually, not mithril. It's for mithril lighting. The ethyl thing. And I actually want to keep the devil's potion, even if I'm a little worried about someone, you know, eating it. Try coffee. I'll just sell the random apothecary stuff for now. I don't think we really need lithium. Because it seems like more advanced, you know, crafts than we can do. A mithril, a mithril brazier? Really? That's ostentatious. That seems like a waste of mithril. Now, a mithril Corinthian helm is interesting. Just buy hot sauce. Um, I'm actually going to buy all of this iron because we I don't know what we need different types of iron for, but there's always something you need them for. Like, yeah. So, oh, that's too much. Towson. 
I can get away with selling a little bit of that because we got plenty. Black bronze, a reinforced barrel, which is for mortars that we can't make. I don't know why they sell that. Maybe we can make basic mortars. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll just take back some corn until they can afford it. Very good. We are buying components and iron and getting also 943 silver. Except, thank you. That was a good deal. Really cleared out our everything, which is handy and helpful. I know we just made this giant storeroom, but, you know, clear out some of it. It's going to get filled back up anyway. Plus, we just got a decent little bit of silver. Noswin. Ray of Hope. I might as well boost Ray of Hope here. Although, we actually, we need to get points to increase that too. No way. Shit. Yep. Making hand tool. Why? Oh, I see. I know why. Because it got moved temporarily. Once, once you're done doing your thing, just start hauling. We could just put Hall Plus on a higher priority temporarily. Travelers wish for aid. A group of poor travelers are approaching looking for help. They're begging for beer. They want to drown their sorrows after losing their home in a terrible attack. I don't actually know if we can afford to do that, though, because... We kind of need the beer for ourselves, or we will go very crazy. We will be very mad. I would, I would love to help, but I don't think we can afford that. And there's no point in helping or not helping. It's just if we have a charity-based ideology, it yeah, it helps with that. But I don't know. I think we would be nice and help charity most of the time. We just can't really uh, afford it right now. Almost done with this. We're almost done moving. And we're going to move this back down, and then we can maybe crack that open a little bit. We could. Technically, we could. All we need to do, make sure this isn't outdoors. Okay. Release to the wild. We still have our two. We're slowly repopulating the quagga population. Hell yeah. It's now indoors. Unroofed. Oh, because technically this is part of... Yep. Of course, of course. But you know, I don't want to put a door there, because that's not permanent. That's not staying like that. All these damn glow pods... I mean, they last for a decent bit. We could use them for light stuff, but... I feel like maybe that's a different... Quality's... Uh, aesthetic. I'm gonna go with the medieval brazier. I want to make it out of... Stone of some kind. Nice granite brazier. Sure. So I'm thinking in, the, in each of these little crossroads... A nice brazier, and then lamps along the, the walls. So that's why I like the dwarven lights, but they're a little blue. They're a bit rough on the eyes if there's too many of them. A raid by the fleshmongers. Oh well. 
these travelers are probably dead. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, we can deal with this. If we wanted to be a dick, we could lead them into the trade caravan. Down to the walls. Was this man's name Bingo? Nice. I almost thought it said Bingus for a second. I got excited. Hell yeah. All ready then. Ready to go. Must be very exciting. I don't remember the last time I went to, actually to any event. I went to a Comic-Con way back in the day. Or was it? No, it was PAX. I went to PAX, I think. Hell yeah. Hope you have a great time. It's going to be very fun of it. She, I'd come retreat. You're not... You're not armored. I don't know why I put them there. Yeah, I was, I was wondering what you meant by vacuuming them, but, you know, I just rolled with it. Like, yes. Surely this is correct. Uh... Actually, yeah, you can heal yourself, and now you're back in the fight. <laughs> yeah, I figured. It's... It's late for you. Words are probably getting a bit confusing. Absent. Okay. These fuckers are just carrying absinthe with them. Hell yeah, party. Nixa. Nikya, Nixa. They can hit them from around that corner. That's impressive. I'd come. Uh, I'd like to see what... Just use earth and hammer. Oh, Jesus. Never mind. Do not. Fuck. Please. Fucking hell. If anyone's confused what happened there, I, f I seem to always forget how that spell works. They, uh... Yeah, he, he summons rocks and they're flung from behind him. He was standing in the door. So it just hit him and the wall. It completely fucked up our defenses. So that's always... Watch out. Are you going to explode? You're going to explode, aren't you? You're like a contingency or some shit. Well, that could have gone better. All right, Miss Mill, you're on. You're on finishing off them out of their misery. Hell yeah! Oh god, yeah, that was a explosion and a half. Wanna don't wanna be near that when that goes off. Yeah, it sounds like you're well, proper prepared, eh? Do the classic over-prepare, just in case. Is this grave full? It almost is, so we probably need to build another. Yep, very prepared. I mean, you want to though. It's like it's a it's a, a whole thing. So you know, it's it's better to be prepared. Ooh, hell yeah! No oh, panic. I was listening to him the other day, actually. Wait, should we didn't kill you? Honestly, we're not looking for a Damonette yet. 
we're going to get plenty of rage from them, I guarantee it, so... Exactly. You got any situation, and for other ones too. Travelers betrayed. What? They have not been betrayed. Oh, well, you know what you did? You walked in the way of the bad guys, what you did. That's on you. You got chopped up by Damonettes. That's not my fault. Fuck you. You okay? Let's. I know you're wilder. Yeah, tend to your, to your husband, your husband. -o. Have we not been using medicine? No, we have. Okay, no, that was just. Tend to husbando. Also, Oddcom is bleeding out. Maybe help him too. Maybe help clean the room a bit, too, while you're at it. Okay, perfect. Now, I'll just expand this and that. And we will start to shrink the zone. There we go. Uh, that might be too small, but... For now, it's fine. We're still gonna be living out of this little cave in the front for a while, I bet. We got fuel. You can be fueled from anything. Yeah, just pretty much do anything. Uh, don't do ironwood. I want to keep that for things. Actually, let's maybe not do chem... Yeah, not manufactured. Except that. Oh yeah, they're easily... <laughs> Hell yeah, that's, that's the best kind of bee. Just be the be the parent, the quote unquote mom friend. Someone's got to be, huh? You know, they can't all be children. Someone's got to take care of them. Is the best way to be. Hell yeah. Concrete. Well, cement, technically, but... Primitive concrete. Alan is... Flu. Yes. Copy, paste. These graves are going to be very full very soon. Good, they've repaired and restored the walls. That's exactly what we need. We need to remember this damn ability. Okay, let's let's actually go test it. Uh. Yes, it's, it seems to come from behind him. Like, just boom, boom, throw big-ass rocks around. Okay, 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 okay. Well, we have this all done. Should we build... You know, let's build the actual quarry. Because then, if anyone has nothing to do, they can take care of it. Start digging their way out that way. 
I'll just for right now build doors. I think I want to work on having this open, making it a proper hallway. Although technically this is all, oh no, it's still indoors on a roof, isn't it? Well, you know what, for now I can just put that there. Let's say fuck those. Yeah, we can convert it slowly. I'd come very poor. He's probably out there getting stone chunks or something. I have an ambrosia. A nice, lightly glowing berry. Just fruit, right? Yeah, soft, rare fruit. Chemical high. Delicious. They're all resting, recovering from their wounds and illnesses. Now we can do Ambrosia. Tree sewing, I believe we can actually... I'm just going to queue all those up. Farm. Farming techniques. There's the three sisters. Yeah. Let's make some of those. There's elven furniture. Medieval noble apparel. Sure. Throw that in there. Uh, basic tool crafting. God King's Throne, hey yo. Huh. All right, all right. Yeah, nervous is normal, but it's going to be great. Hope you have a great time. Wish you all the luck. Everything goes your way. And yeah, hope that it all goes well. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. That's a lot of work. Whoa. Nighty night. Have a good one. Have a good sleep and a good weekend. Hell yeah. A little confused on why this was want to be harvested. I did not understand. The game does not want trees. Hell yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah, good night. Wow. Why are you taking so long to build? I mean, it's reduced a little bit by the flu, but... Garden coffee. Dwarves love a little bit of coffee, don't they? I feel like they would. It would get them going. So this is now considered indoors. Just not hold it open. We can finally crack these open. And at least, I don't know exactly, I don't even know if this is what we want for the doors, to be honest. I don't know how we want this area. So we're going to have furniture structure. 
We have like a grand gate. It looks a little bit weird sideways, but you know. It'll be open most of the time, so it doesn't really matter. They do definitely look better front-wise, but... Probably... Like, right there. So let's... Have that, so we remember where it is. I will check that out after stream. Secret complex raiding. Ancient complex nearby. We could send someone that way. Hmm. There's an option. I mean, that doesn't go away, though, does it? So. So this is now one big room. Taking forever to build this, huh? God damn. I was just about to say, I was wondering when this was going to get done. And just as I thought that, it turns out they're ready. The hops are ready to harvest. So we get more beer on the go. That gives off a nice bit of light, doesn't it? Yeah, because we can always put, like, another here and there. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. I have this long hallway up here. Dirty cooking area. Yeah, it is actually pretty nasty, isn't it? Let's see what we can do about that. I would love... It's going to be a little bit before we get a kitchen going, but... But I guess technically this doesn't have to be indoors, does it? I kind of want part of it to be at least for, you know, dwarf fortressy plants, but yeah, it doesn't have to be all indoors. Maybe like this half will be un underground. Yeah. This base is not going to be terribly efficient, I'll be honest. It's going to have things just scattered around. It's definitely, definitely not going to be the most efficient base I've built. But it's going to look nice, and that's really what matters. I don't think they can do this easier. Kind of see something like that. We'll keep them forbidden though, because I don't know if those are exactly what I want and everything else. But yeah, you can always do a block, like yeah, like a layer of blocks as well. Kind of like that.
course, we're not actually doing that yet, but that's kind of, yeah, like a nice road. This could be freezer. Could be freezer and kitchen here. And this can be farming, some farms, farms. And this can be a cutoff into a... This actually could be a giant freezer if you want with both of these. Yeah, like a... And then a, a big kitchen-y area. Then a wall making kind of like this area underground. And this can be above ground. Just get rid of this. And we do have soil reclamation. We can make things into dirt again. As well as fungal gravel, which I don't quite know how that works, but we can we can get turn things back into dirt. It's under terrain rehabilitation. Yes. Imagine that this will be a shortcut out here, because we won't have the animals out here forever. Probably have animals here. Like, build the barn into this area of rock and have, like, nice wide... Maybe just all down here, so actually... Smaller underground area right here. Probably mostly for mushrooms. Or we could just have the underground farms be somewhere else entirely. There's also something we could do. I might as well increase the efficiency and then we can level up the actual skill. Lost a bit of salted pork. That is completely fine. Should probably hunt a few more. Let's hunt some more muffalo. Maybe we should. Let's hunt something different a bit. Hunt a rhino? Let's hunt one rhino. What could go wrong? A lot could go wrong, but you know, it'll be fine. Oh, there, yep. Just what I was thinking. Inside. Please go inside. Oh, they're in, they're in the actual halls. Everyone. Shit. 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 Don't hit her. Don't hit Ms. Mill. This better not be a repeat of the damn horses. I don't know if anyone remembers that disaster, but... We're just running from these rhinos through our entire base. Think of all the meat we're gonna get, though. Yes. There's one. Come on, you got this. Okay. Note to self. Don't do that. Uh, what? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Also, he's got... His left eye is nearly mangled by a daemonet foot. Or talon. We have... We have a mana storm. Yes, we do. Okay. That's why. See, he, he got hit by mat, uh, like arcane lightning. He's uh he tried to heal heal uh Ms. Mill there. Good to know. Mana Storm. I never really got uh used magic during a mana storm before, so that's fun. Yeah, let's do more mosaic. I think they're nice. Let's 
surrounded by smooth. Then we'll have yeah, this entry here. A little bit of uh, flex though. See how that looks. That might look all right, or it might look terrible. Actually, yeah, it might just look bad. Cancel those ones at least. We'll still keep the flagstones here. But, beyond that, yeah. Because, of course, I don't know yet where the other... We have other. We have another type of quarry. Yes, it's, there it is, stone quarry. It actually fits kind of perfectly. Yeah, that's not bad. Not awful, no. Except for right there. Yeah, well, of course. Eep. Actually, we don't, we don't need to, actually. No, we don't. Not by moving those out. Floors. Lag stew. Yeah, I mean, it won't, it's not the best looking, but. That's dead. Yeah, that'll do. Four. That'll keep them busy for a bit. Building some floors. How many blocks? We're good on blocks. Actually, we're not good on blocks. We don't have granite. No, we do. It's just not stored. Never mind. Yeah. And of course, have the quarry here. So the quarry lets you do resources, stone blocks, or cut stone. The stone blocks and cut stone depend on what type of block is beneath it. So this will probably be sandstone. Maybe. No, granite and limestone. Never mind. Magic turning normal, so we can use our heal power now. It still went off, though. That's the nice thing. It still at least did its thing. Just happened to get hit with lightning after doing it. You know, as you do. I like this lower, moodier lighting. Well, look at the time, actually. It's almost five and a half hours. And I have to go very shortly, so I might have to wrap it up. It's been very eventful, though. We've managed to get a decent bit done. We've survived a few raids. Burying our enemies in mass graves. Eventually, we'll probably cremate them. We can toss them in a fire. And the rat is still, nope, still, still going to take a while. But yes, I hope that y'all have enjoyed. I know I have. I've, I do, of course, love Rainworld. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's just very good. It's top tier. Especially modded. Mods make it 
so much more enjoyable. When even the game by itself is a ton of fun. I love mods. Mods are great. Yeah, I hope that y'all have enjoyed as well. I don't actually know about tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be around tomorrow. I might. I might be busy. I do not know yet. But if I am, you know. I mean, I, I really can't wait. It's... I have, like... I usually uh, end by now for a reason. It's getting a little little late. I have things I have to do. When the stream the next God's Herja stream? Oh yeah, the God Herja, well, I mean, this is a bit late. I usually don't stream this late. We'll see how it is. It really depends on how, um, how I'm feeling next Tuesday, but I mean, I tend to go a bit late, so I'll, we'll see. We'll see if maybe I can push it a little bit. The next God Herja. Check in. I don't know what's going on over there. Yes, I must be off. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I don't, I don't know about tomorrow. We'll see. It's 50-50. Sunday? No, Sunday is uh, Sunday's laundry and yeah, Sunday's laundry, grocery shopping, all sorts of errands. In the future, I might do Sunday streams. Just right now, schedule not quite, but not impossible. Yes, yeah, so I. It's good to see you around, though. I hope that y'all have a good weekend. If I don't see you tomorrow, and just a good night in general. Great to see everybody. So I already saved. Yes. I. Where are we going? So hope that you all have a good night. And see you next time, whenever that will be. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.